I think normally when people abroad think of Americans, they think of blonde, tall, blue-eyed, stuff like that. And something that was really important for me was maintaining my American identity and showing that I can be Chinese American while I'm abroad too. And just because of the way I look, just because of what you see in the mirror, doesn't mean that you're not American like everyone else. And so that was something I had to talk a lot about was that people would assume that I was Korean or Chinese and assume that I didn't speak English and I had to show them that no, like I grew up in America and it's something that I'm really proud of and I enjoy being able to show people that there's not just one definition to fit for an American. I think that something that's really important is for people around the world to understand Americans and for Americans in turn to understand them. And that's something that you can't get in the confines of a classroom. You have to be out there living with them, interacting with them, buying their goods, eating with them, and that just forms a whole new dynamic. And I even had a conversation with my language partner where we were talking about the true meaning of friendship and what it meant to her, what it meant to me. And that's when we really had that moment where we connected. And same with my host family, we talked about Korean politics from the perspective of a Korean instead of just an American. And those are things that while you might touch on in a classroom, you can't truly experience until you're out there with that person forming those bonds.